like a big Ken one jet gate mixer. And it's all ridden by a little steam engine in this engine house. This is Josephine, you know, this is the engine that drives the blunder outside. And um, it took me and me assistance about six months, to, seven months to restore it. You know, we pulled the thing to bits and charted it back to Bolton and restored it all and brought it back here. And here it is now, driving all the machinery in the top here. Um, and that thing you can hear making the noise next door, that's a, that's a boiler. You put a bit too much coal on it, it's blowing out. As far as we know, this is the only example of a steam-driven potter's wheel in existence. In some industries, steam power never replaced water power. Wheel Mart in China Clay Heritage Centre is in St Austell. Here at Wheel Martin, this really is one of the best examples that you could find of a water wheel moving things around on an industrial site. I mean, how long has it been here, Terry, doing this? This 18-foot wheel has been here since about 1902, and it was pumping slurry around the site right up until 1962. It uh, picked up slurry from the pit, and mm. using those pumps down there, yeah. pumped slurry to where it was required. Mm. This is it. <laughs> Technology from a long yeah. time ago. This is the core of the business here. Yeah. The tail end of that uh, water wheel yeah. power supply. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like how it does a bit of a shudder when it uh, goes into reverse. <laughs> yeah. The thing to remember is that none of these sources of power have ever really gone away. Take water, for instance, we still use it to generate electricity. Or well, here at Festiniog Hydroelectric Power Station, this lake behind me here is a, a thousand foot deep, 14 foot diameter shaft in, under that building over there. And when they pull the plug out, down goes the water and works a, a water turbine a thousand feet down the mountain. This thing down here is the main sort of valve that holds back the pressure for a thousand feet up the mountain. And of course, you can see why it's rather an hefty piece of engineering. Don't know how they do when they want to change a washer, but, you know, with all that pressure up there. And of course, when it opens, the water comes down and through to the water turbine and generates the electricity. very clean and environmentally friendly. They've really come full circle, you know, all these wonderful new windmills that rather look like aeroplane propellers going round. But somehow or other, I don't think they'll ever beat the steam turbine. This lot here, it all works full bore, you know, and you can drill a two and a half inch hole for an iron bar, or you can forge a big lump of iron two inches square, or saw a piece of stone in half for foot thick. Uh, so I don't think I've done so bad really out, out of the junk that would all have gone into the scrapyards, but for me. Mm. This weird and wonderful machine is for making iron bands with them for round factory chimneys. Uh, all, the, all the bands at Barn Oldswick were made with this machine. In fact, really, everything here works with the power of steam, you know. Right. All the work on the engines, both at Carnarvon and up at Weatherig's Pottery, has all been done here with this steam-driven machinery. Even renovating my tractor, it's all been done by steam power. <laughs> 